what will be the sixth generation Russian stealth bomber. In Russia, the development of the first stealth bomber is in full swing. It is important that it is not a modification of Soviet developments, but is a completely new machine created from scratch that can compete with American counterparts. The developments of the first Russian stealth bomber are carried out in high secrecy mode, but still some information was leaked to the media. It is now that the UAC, United Aircraft Corporation, is working on its creation and at this stage work on the design documentation has been completed. The prototype is being created as part of the Advanced Long Range Aviation Complex, PEGDA, program under the working title Product 18, back in 2009, to pilot design department began working on the concept of Russian stealth. These flights are planned to be carried out in 2025, and serial production of the Product 18 will be accepted no earlier than 2027. German analyst Gernot Kramper believes that the new bombers will be produced in small batches, since one of the designer's tasks will be the gradual refinement of the model as happens with the T-14 Armata tank. Product 18, according to the plan of the military, will have to replace the 295 long-range aircraft and also partially take over the functions of the 216 strategic bombers. His tasks will be breaking throughout the air defense of the enemy and delivering nuclear weapons to the launch site. The pack da is designed according to the flying wing principle, which was implemented in the American B-2 Spirit stealth bombers, released in the late 80s. This form can significantly reduce the specific weight of the airframe and significantly increase the mass of the payload. In addition, the effective sitting array and radar visibility of the aircraft is reduced. The designers also mentioned the presence of an onboard computer capable of analyzing the air and radar situation. The exit characteristics of the machine are not yet known. Obviously, the bomber will have two engines and its flight range without refueling will be able to reach 12,000 km, more than a quarter of the air's air conference. Presumably, it will be able to carry up to 30 tons of payload. According to experts, the Russian bomber is unlikely to surpass the American counterpart in terms of its capabilities. It is almost certain that the new brainchild of the Tupolev design department will be subsonic. This information spread after the engine parameters of the future car appeared on the public procurement website. Someone believes that this is a step back in the domestic aircraft industry. Others are sure that supersonic aircraft have their drawbacks. On the same to 160, supersonic is used only in extreme cases. For example, to quickly overcome a dangerous area. The operation of engines in force of mode is associated with a significant excessive consumption of fuel, which in other cases can lead to critical situations. The airline risks not returning home. Another weak point of supersonic speeds is the thermal exhaust that increases many times over. The infrared optics of enemy radar facilities are capable of recognizing an aircraft that has switched to supersonic at a distance of several hundred kilometers. And, as a result, in a matter of minutes, an interceptor aircraft will rise into the air.